ever visited you at the place you laid your head. So let's be clear, because you've lied in this, this. Let me tell you which one you lied in. Right here. I think you lied right here. No, 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 no. This is the truth, Judge. And this it, is, it, it is a lie. It is, it is gonna, a lie. Right, Ms. Willow? You see. Mr. Sena, I thank you. We're going to take five minutes. 602, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis will be back on the stand this morning. A continuation of her testimony from yesterday that saw tempers flare. It's part of a hearing to determine whether a judge will disqualify Willis from the Fulton County election interference case. 11 Live's Ariana Manise is joining us live now from the Fulton County Courthouse this morning. Ariana, DA Willis says there are improper characterizations of her relationship with Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade. And Cheryl, yesterday's hearing has major implications on Georgia's election interference case against former President Donald Trump and his defendants. It's one you can tell DA Fonnie Willis did not take lightly. Instead of questioning witnesses, she volunteered to be a witness as she spent hours pushing back on what she calls lies laid out by the defense. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis forcefully walked into the courtroom during her misconduct hearing, cueing to her attorney that she's ready. Three documents in front of me and they're the three filings of Ms. Merchant. Very anxious to have this conversation with them today. Willis says she was eager to testify as she and Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade faces allegations that their relationship was a conflict of interest and they should be disqualified from Georgia's election interference case against former President Donald Trump and his co-defendants. Uh, you're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial. Willis's highly charged testimony went on for more than two hours. No, 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 no. This is the truth, Judge. And this it, it, it is a lie. It is, is a lie. Defense attorneys question Willis about her relationship with Wade and claim he paid for their getaways. But Willis says she would always pay him back in cash. Um, and what did you pay for on that trip? I gave him much less cash that time, probably four or five hundred dollars. The D.A. also revealed how the relationship ended. I don't need anything from a man. A man is not a plan. A man is a companion. And so there was tension always in our relationship, which is why I was give him his money back. I don't need anybody to foot my bills. The only man who's ever foot my bills completely is my daddy. Wade also took the stand and set the record straight on when the relationship started. As the defense said, it started in 2021. To that, none. But before his testimony, Willis's former friend and former DA employee denied the timeline. Do you know if Miss Willis and Mr. Wade started dating in October of 2019? I don't know if it was October of 2019. Could it possibly be November of 2019? Could possibly. Now, D.A. Fonnie Willis will be back on the witness stand this morning starting at 9 a.m. as this hearing continues where she'll face more questions from defense attorneys. Now, it's unclear when the judge will issue his ruling on whether to disqualify Wade and Willis from this case, but he has signaled that he does not plan to issue his ruling on the same day the hearing closes. Back to you. Okay, Ariana, thank you so much. And as that testimony continues today, you can watch it here on 11 Alive. This morning, we're also hearing from a Georgia State University law professor, Clark Cunningham, about what stands out to him up to this point. He says the relationship timeline does not match up. This may seem overly dramatic, but a crime was committed in the Fulton County Courthouse today, right? Somebody committed perjury. Either one person committed perjury, and that was Ms. Yerty, or two people committed perjury, and that would have been Nathan Wade and District Attorney Willis. Uh, we don't know. That could be cleared up today when Mr. Terrence Bradley takes the stand. He's Nathan Wade's former law partner and friend and represented Wade in his divorce case. The defense attorney says Bradley should be able to confirm the timeline. Again, 11 Alive will be covering today's hearing. It starts at 9 a.m. You can watch here on 11 Alive, also on 11alive.com. We will be streaming it as well on our 11 Alive Plus app. That's free to download on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV devices. Good morning. Today is Friday. It's February 16th. Sorry, this month is flying by. February the 16th, the year is 2024. We got Grayson here. Grayson's about to have surgery on his eye. We already did one eye, now we're about to do the other eye. Hey, doggy style. So Grayson and Ginger are battling it out here. WrestleMania 2024. 
WrestleMania 2024. Vince is always the one. This is every day. This is what's good. Right? This is how they play. This is what happens over here all day, every fucking day until they fall asleep. But it's always Ginger. Ginger! Ginger! Damn! Quiet. I'm gonna have to put them away because it seems that, well, if I can grab Ginger's ass, come here, you my bed fucking night. Oh, Ginger got heavy. Damn. Ginger, you weigh a lot. You, you, you can get heavy all of a sudden. You've been eating too much. I'm at huh? the way you. I mean, seriously, I picked her up and I said, damn, what the hell? Huh? She got heavy. Huh? Make huh? Sure that I'm at the way you make sure you have the right weight. We don't want no heavy, fat dogs over here. They need to be outside huh? running around. Huh? 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 Yeah, this is what it's like over here every morning. But I'm gonna put them out on this deck in a minute. In fact, let me do that right now. Cause it's a beautiful day. Let me get them some doggy biscuits and put them out there. Otherwise, we're not gonna have no peace and quiet over here. Or well, maybe they go over there and be quiet for a little while. Maybe we'll see. Um. So yeah, I don't know if y'all been watching this whole thing on about. The district attorney here in Atlanta who's being accused of having a relationship with her um, as, um, I don't know, being in a relationship with a co-worker, maybe. I don't really know if, considered, if he's considered a co-worker. Um, this whole, but I watched that mess. Y'all, that was the most, I watched that yesterday and it was just... <laughs> Well, first off, I don't know if you all know the backstory about the reason why I can't even think of any names. One, the husband that he, that Miss Willis is accused of dating, the ex-husband, look, her, his best friend, quiet, his best friend was having a sexual relationship with his wife, and that's what led to this divorce. But all this mess, y'all, it's just, a, it's just this horrible, messy situation that's being played out on live TV. Um, they dated for a little while. Obviously, they're not dating anymore, Mr. Willis and the guy that she, Wade, uh, Mr. Wade. I don't think they're dating anymore. Um, according to her, the dating, the dating stopped in August of last year. They, they no longer are dating. Um... Could this have been avoided? Who knows? You know, shit, hell. You know, shit happens. Is she in any way of being removed from this trial? I doubt it. She's not going to be removed. This is just some bullshit. I mean, it's just some crazy mess that uh, these attorneys are trying anything, any and everything to get these charges dismissed that they're accused of trying to overturn the state election here in Georgia, the election of the president, Donald Trump, what he did. So I don't think they're, they're going to be, I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I don't think it's going to cause any major, uh, I don't think she's going to be removed from the case. I don't think they're going to, I mean, it's just a bunch of nonsense. Now her father's on the stand testifying, Miss Willis's, Fannie Willis's father. I'm like, well, what's he up there for? I'm just like, this is, it's just a big, colossal mess. Um, I wonder, could it have been avoided? Yeah, I guess it could have been. If everybody kept their underwear on their ass, yeah, Miss Willis should have kept her panties on her ass, and Mr. Wade should have kept his underwear on his ass, but somehow another they end up having a relationship in the midst of all this stuff. Shit happens, we know. Well, I don't think I don't think they probably set out to do that, but then it didn't happen. Um, I think it's rather embarrassing too. As I, I sat watching this stuff yesterday, I was rather embarrassed my listening to some of the details of this stuff. I thought, wow, this is a lot. Kind of embarrassing. You know, nobody wants your personal details of your personal life now on CNN for hours at a time because it's some stupid, you know, court case that, and, and one has nothing to do without the other. They're just trying to embarrass her. 
is what they're trying to do, and they're not going to su succeed in getting her removed from this case. I mean, there, there, there's been no earth-shattering testimony that proved that she did anything that would require her to be removed from this case. So, I don't know if you guys are watching it, but I'm watching it um, sort of in the background. I'm actually going to cook some breakfast in a minute because I was looking at it this morning. People need to learn how to be careful. I mean, you would think a prosecutor with her type of level of education and intelligence should have known better not to have a relationship with a potential coworker. I don't know if she, I don't know if, she, if he's considered a coworker. Or she said she, she called him an agent. I don't know. I'm sure it happens all day, every day, everywhere. It shouldn't happen. I mean. That's like me having relationships with my clients. I don't do that. You know, I mean, why would I do something so foolish? But shit happens to people. People get involved in shit today. You know, I just didn't think that. Have I ever got myself involved in something I probably shouldn't have? Not that I can remember. I'm a little bit more selective than that. Uh, you know, I, well, I'm self-employed, so I can do the fuck I want to do. So, but I've never got myself involved in a scenario or a situation that would humiliate and embarrass me on national, possibly on national TV. That's the thing. But who knows? Cody Dickerson came back. Lord have mercy. I thought that was a very interesting um, embarrassing yeah, let me kill these hiccups. I'll be right back. Give me a second. And I'm back. I had to go get rid of them hiccups. They were getting on my damn nerves. However, I don't think Ms. Willis is going to be disqualified from this case. I think the case is going to continue. I don't I don't even think they've even started. The, 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 they haven't even chose a jury. or I think it's going to be a battle, but I don't think she's going to be disqualified. Like I said, there's been no earth-shattering information that was disclosed thus far. That no smoking gun. That okay, she's 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 going to be disqualified. That's not going to happen. I'm sure the case will continue. I think that the, the whole thing is rather embarrassing and it's a big mess. But what can be done about that? Nothing. So anyway, this is going to be a short video because I have had it's already 11:39 and I have not even had breakfast yet. And um. This wasn't the video I was going to do. I was going to do a video about something else. But then I was looking at this, this mess on my TV, and I was like, this is the mess, messiest mess I've ever seen in my entire life. I would love to hear you all's thoughts and opinions about this stuff. How did this happen? Um, how did she end up... I mean, the, the most probably one of the most important cases she's probably ever had and, and just mired in this personal drama that should never have happened. I don't think it should have happened, but you know, shit happens. That's unfortunate, but I don't think she's going to be removed as a prosecutor on this case. And I don't think she's done anything that's going to, that's going to disqualify her from continuing this case. I think the case is going to continue. I think Donald Trump and company, and yeah, they've already had a few people plead guilty to these charges. So I think they're going to proceed for it as guilty and there was some guilty as charged verdicts in this case so let's just see what continues to happen but yours y'all can turn to cnn or cnbc or i don't even know if they're watching it on fox it was on a couple of different news channels and you continue to watch the, the grilling of miss fanny she did i don't think she's miss miss willis i don't think she's coming back on there i think yesterday yesterday was quite interesting she's a, she's she's something else but I don't know. Yesterday, was she was she was was she was being um, interrogated? Do you all think that she was being professional? Is it just me? I mean, I, I'm just curious what you all think. I mean, she's a prosecutor. I think she could have been a little bit more professional. I think. Um, she should have known that these people are going to do whatever they can in their powers to destroy this case. 
even if it means questioning who she is in her own, her her personal life. Um, just there's just a, you know you got some very powerful people who don't like the fact that this case is going on. I think she could have been a little bit more professional. I you know based upon what I saw yesterday. The whole thing to me is very embarrassing, but you know it is is life. Shit happens. I, I'm gonna continue to watch the best I can. I got uh, my kitchen is being installed today. They're supposed to be in here this morning. Put the kitchen cabinets in. They're they're starting the kitchen in the basement. We shall see how that goes. It's 11:42. They're supposed to be in here at 10. We're gonna get there between 8:30 and 10. It's almost noon. Ain't nobody here yet. So. You know, give them, give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's just see. Maybe they run a little bit behind, you know. That's a, they, at least they've been in contact with me, so. But anyway, today it is Friday. It is February the 16th. The year is 2024. I'm out of here, you all. And enjoy the rest of this beautiful Friday.